You know, we all know to steer clear when we see that bright red hourglass shape on a spider. Well, now we have to be on the lookout for a cousin of that notorious black widow. But how concerned should we be with this arachnid immigrant? Dominic Fulgoni has some answers. And look at whatever he might be catching. And see, he would be here. This is, that's, yeah, that's no problem there. This is a beneficial wasp right here. If there's a mysterious bug lurking in San Diego, chances are that David Kellum has had it under his microscope. As the county entomologist or insect scientist, Mr. Kellum always has his eye out for a new threat to our local ecosystem. We're economic entomologists. We're dealing with the economics of it affecting our agriculture and affecting our production of agriculture here in San Diego County. There's a whole class of bugs, though, that never make Kellum's bad bug list, the spiders. I consider spiders to be very beneficial, and we want to keep uh, make the environment nice for spiders in that sense. They eat tons and tons of insects. Jim Berrien knows spiders. He has hundreds of them in little vials in his office at Balboa Park's Natural History Museum. And he's become the go-to man for the new spider in town, the brown widow. Jim's a, a very cooperative, and he, he's enthusiastic about his work, and so we like to give him first shot at talking about the spiders because he that's his passion. It's too bad there's such a problem because they are really pretty spiders. A problem not in an economic sense. They're not going to devastate any farmer's crops, but they are a problem in the medical sense. As its name suggests, the brown widow is a close relative to our notorious black widow. The brown widow venom is about twice as potent as the black widow, but they seem to inject about half as much. So how afraid should we be? Well, the county's deputy public health officer, Dean Seidlinger, has some reassuring news. If we are seeing an unusual occurrence of um, reactions to spider bites or to um, other unusual illnesses, certainly that's something that we track by law. We haven't seen an unusual uptick in reports of serious reactions after spider bites. Still, a bite from a brown widow probably isn't on your bucket list, so it's good to know what they look like. The brown widow hourglass is more orange and the black widow is more red. Uh, and then the brown widow has a, a light and dark banding on the legs. The egg sacs are also different. The brown widow egg sac is going to be a little ball with little spikes all around it. There's no other spider around here makes an egg sac like that. As is the case with most new bugs to our county, the brown widow is an immigrant. But San Diego hasn't been their only destination. Brown widows originally, we are pretty sure, come from southern Africa. And by shipping and so on, they've, they've come to make homes on all the continents except maybe Antarctica. <laughs> Our first specimens here were found in downtown San Diego. Uh, and then uh, along the coast, we started getting reports over the next few years, like uh, from uh, Carlsbad and Encinitas and places like that. Uh, and then in the last two or three years, with some of the change in the weather we've been having, um, we have seen these things just explode from the border all the way up to Los Angeles County. And some yards have as many as, we're getting reports of 20 or 30 individual spiders in the yard. So if you go looking in your garden for the brown widow, where are you going to find them? Well, the good news is you're not going to find yourself walking through one of their webs when you take out the trash. They like to hang out under uh, you know, places like under eaves or under toys or equipment or lawn chairs underneath things where they're you know, secluded from the environment and so on. And they both will do that. And in fact, you can find brown widows and black widows in the same, under the same chair. We have them in Balboa Park here under the same park bench. On one side will be brown widows and the other side are black widows. But before you resolve never to sit on a park bench again, understand that these spiders are not looking for a fight. Neither one are very aggressive. I've actually handled them, <laughs> you know, and run across my hand. As long as you're not restraining them or threatening them in any way, uh, they're not very aggressive. They won't bite. We're concerned more about people uh, labeling uh, the spiders as being deadly or dangerous. Even with the black widow spiders, there are very few reports of people dying from uh, these spider bites. If you are bitten by a spider, really look for the symptoms that you're having to make your decision about whether or not to go to the doctor or even seek more immediate care. Don't necessarily do it just because you're bitten by a spider. So most kids who get bit or parents or adults who get bit are going to recover on their own without any additional treatment other than some ice to keep the swelling down and maybe some pain medication. We are going to have to change our behaviors because the spiders are here to stay. We're not going to get rid of these. And so we recommend, are recommending, and when I get in inquiries, I recommend that before kids go out and play in the yard, 
or before you have folks over for you know a picnic or something, look under your tables and chairs, look under the swing sets, the toys, and be aware of these things that they can be here. But otherwise, no, don't panic about this. It's not a panic issue. <laughs> yeah, there are bigger things to be afraid of right. out there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now, one thing we do want to stress: don't get the brown widow confused with the brown recluse spider. Brown recluse is generally not found in San Diego County. For more info on this new spider in town, just go to our website, ctn.org. I'm Michael Russo.